Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Dream Quest. God, I really want to play some more with the dragon. But no, let's move on with the alphabet. I've cleared with Druid, I've cleared with Monk, so our next up is the Necromancer. Oh, I gotta look at this face. Necromancer is definitely my favorite class that I suck the most horribly with, so I can't wait to play with him. We're gonna go ahead, um, I'll grab Cowardly, just for some variety's sake. My friend uh, beat this game with the priest, and apparently when you beat the game with priest, the reward is, actually, why am I, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, uh, the reward is this heal talent that you get at level one, which, uh, is a cooldown of five combats and lets you heal completely, maybe if I had that, I would suck less with the assassin, because he actually beat it with the assassin on his first try. He's like, wow, the assassin's the most broken class ever. But he had the um, he had that talent. And maybe being able to vanish as the assassin and then heal would help me get that last bit of uh, help that I need. Okay, we got some pretty good stuff here. Lots of mana, frost charge, and static charge. I can see buying both of those. Those are both good cards. I guess we'll fight this shaman next. I'm going to leave him at 5 health. That way, if I get Drain Life, I can I can do it without killing him. Otherwise, since I got Soul Siphon, we'll just do that. All right, well, uh, we can increase the base mana or grab Wisdom. That's a very interesting question. So I think I think the answer is the Wisdom, because once I draw the Wisdom, it's better than the, than the mana. And I should have a very high base mana, so I, I shouldn't need two more. Oh, another Wisdom. Okay, well, I'll take all the Wisdom I can get. Level three is a bit of a tricky one. Uh, because the first card you play against it is discarded, and that makes it kind of difficult, especially if you get Soul Siphon early on, you're forced to pitch it, and then, yeah, no, let's just save that enemy for the end. Oh, I'm willing to waste a health pack. Okay, wow. I guess I have to be willing to waste two health packs to uh, avoid that fight. Let's take a look in this shop. What do we got here? Hmm, well, Divine Inspiration is pretty good for the Necromancer. You're often searching for the Soul Siphon. It doesn't really add value to your deck. It lets you search up the value that you have, and 25 gold is a lot. Uh, I don't know. Not sure how smart that really is, but all right, let's let's uh, let's get the Priest going here. So for the Priest, I think we just want to play our attacks because the Priest does have some healing. I'm gonna, no, I'll, I'll keep him at 5 if he plays a heal, I should be able to damage him again. And see, there's Drain Life coming in. Of course, I wasn't damaged, so it didn't actually do anything. I'll put him on down to one health now that Drain Life has passed. And the Soul Siphon's at the bottom of the deck, but I get it up with the Wisdom, and then there we go. Okay, so, so far, so good. Another chest, Sift. Interesting. So Sift doesn't cost any time. It's terrible, because you don't actually net any card advantage with it. But it does let you find you know, your soul siphon sooner. You know, let's just take it. It's for fun. And this way, uh, I can also be ready with some discard synergy. All right, this is not my favorite lineup of monsters, I gotta say. So the War Queen, the first card you play against her is ignored, and then this guy is an elite. Okay, well, let's go to the monastery. We'll forget and attack one. Oh, uh, man, I need some damage is what I really need. Maybe I should have forgotten one of my mana ones because I already have two wisdoms to kind of replace them, and I really need these attacks to do damage. Hmm. Well, is there any damage at all? There's a frost bolt, isn't there? I should really buy that. All right, so now I don't have a choice. I have to, well, let me go here, and I'm going to increase my health. Taking a bit of a risk, obviously the safest move would have been to increase my experience, and then um, I would have leveled up before fighting this tracker. But we're going to just go for it, man. So hopefully I get Drain Life soon. Ah, this this really sucks. Oh, that sucks, a bag of ducks. Um, So any other card but Soul Siphon would have been great here. Then I could have played it and played Drain Life and gotten this thing down to five. That is, as it is, I'm going to just flee. And I'm going to take a bit of a chance here. I'm actually going to use this Oasis. I just needed to get any other card but Soul Siphon to go along with the Drain Life there. Okay. So... My, my Gambit worked out. I threw away the Attack 1 to play the Wisdom, and I got an Attack 2. This is very awkward. Very awkward indeed. So I got my Soul Siphon, which means I can't play it. The first card I play is always going to be discarded. So I guess what's going to happen is I'm going to have to kill this thing without actually soul siphoning it. 
unless I get super lucky and draw Soul Siphon straight off the top. It's just unfortunate the Soul Siphon came up too early. All right, well, we got some good some good options here. Haste lets me draw cards, and Ward gives me protection. We'll go for the Ward, because I already ha have Sift as a sort of pseudo card draw. What I really need, though, is damage, and the only damage that has been offered at all is this Frostbolt. Well, that's what I think I have to buy, and I could actually level up some more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to level up before fighting that Muck Caller. I'm just not 100% confident I can kill that thing. All right, well, this is sort of obnoxious. I don't want the two mana. I guess we'll take a heal. So I have a bunch of survivability, but no actual damage, except for Frostbolt. What I'm going to do is pop my portal, I guess, on this boss, see if there's anything over here. Oh, there's a, there's a non-elite level four. Okay, this shouldn't be as bad now because I have a hand size of three, so that does give me a little bit of wiggle room. Let me actually... Yeah, I'm going to pop my bone wall to block the damage this fight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep the soul siphon out. I have a frost bolt in here that I'll be able to use. So I'm going to throw away the sift, play the attack. Once I get the frost bolt, we should be good. Didn't get it, but I did get an attack too, which with the soul siphon lets me pull it off. And is there anything good over here? A health pack. I'll take it. And we have a treasure chest. Drain life. All right, I'll take it because it's damage. It's not great, but it's damage and I need it. Is there any damage in here? Ah, flame drive. That's actually a really nice little pickup here. It's uh, one of the few good damaging cards I could actually buy for super cheap. So the question is, do I fight this muck caller? I'm going to get nine experience. I would then have to spend 20 gold buying three experience here. Uh, I don't even know if this guy's going to give me 18 gold. I think the right play... Uh, this is bad. Um, I guess the right play is to just go fight the boss with partial damage, right? I don't see any other way of doing it. When I fight this guy, oh man, I used my bone shield. Oh god, I shouldn't have used the bone shield. Although, I ended up taking damage in that fight anyway, so if, if I hadn't used the bone shield, I'd be at 11. Yeah, it just kind of worked out sort of awkwardly, didn't it? Maybe I should have fought the boss instead of fighting that thing to begin with. All right, well, let's see how it goes. So I guess I'll pitch the Sift, because it's junk. We'll do the Wisdom. Heal up a bit. Attack. Okay. Um, 20 more hit points to go before I can Soul Siphon. Woo! All right. Frostbolt is nice, like a little mini stone shield. All right. What do I throw away here? I guess I throw away the attack to heal myself. And I'm not going to keep this, this Soul Siphon. I think that that would just be suicide. Okay, I'm actually sort of happy to have this drain life. That's good. Healing up a little bit. Ward is also good. Okay, it's like eight hit points. All right, we're hanging on in there. Luckily, these guys don't have any healing. So now we just play everything, I reckon. All right. Oh, that was not a good draw. Okay, I don't need more mana. Ward's keeping me alive. I need three more damage and a soul siphon. Oh my god, we got there. So throw away the wisdom. Play the Drain Life, and then Soul Siphon the boss. Okay, so I missed one Soul Siphon on this floor. And here we gotta take the Blizzard. I mean, just gotta, gotta take the damage. And I have 31 gold, so I can buy another card from the store. Let's see. Hmm, I can get more mana and go for the big mana strategy and try to get Electrocutes. Um, what else is there? There's Divine Inspiration. So I could tutor something up. I don't know if I have quite have enough value to justify getting a tutor card for all my gold. And here we have another defensive card, although I'm already doing pretty good on defense with the two Drain Lifes, the Frostbolt, the Heal, and the Ward. It's actually a fair bit of defense already. So, what I think I'm going to do is go for big mana. We're going to get the Static Charge and the Frost Charge. So for 24 gold, getting two good cards, one of which gives me some survivability and one of which cycles. And the Static Charge really should... Pretty much always cycle because it is one of very many mana cards in my deck. Okay, this is actually kind of annoying, so I need three more damage before I can Soul Siphon. There's the Flame Charge. This actually worked out pretty well because I end up the fight with full health. So, uh, and I got the Soul Siphon off. All right, it's pretty good. Should I cleanse at the Monastery to get rid of one of these Attack 1s? Hmm... Or one of these manas, for that matter. No, let's keep the manas. Uh, the attack ones are pretty bad. Let me see. Was there something I wanted to buy? Three health would be good. Definitely. Um, I'm not going to get the Divine Inspiration. And I think all that was left over here was the haste. Yeah, I'm not going to get that either. I don't have enough gold. Okay. 
So let's go here and get three health for five gold. That seems good. And I don't think I'm going to spend five gold on one mana because it's not that valuable for me just to get one mana. Five gold's kind of a big deal. And then what was over here? I can get three health for ten gold now. All right, let's do it. So now I have to make a tough choice going down on the second floor. Let me see. What's my mana situation, really? 3, 6, 9, 11, 13, 16, 19. And then I have 7, 10, 13. I mean, as, as much mana as I seem to have, I actually... Yeah, 7, 10, 13. What are you? 16, 17... 20 so I actually could use some more mana although I don't really want to copy any of these cards I might get you know I might get that that uh, Mana talent here mana surge fireball and charm Yeah, let's try it. I don't have any action cards. So I've got room for one action card and I don't really have anything great to copy Gold I guess is always good, but let's just this be wild here and grab sorceress. Okay, so I could use the portal now I'm just gonna do it. Let's explore a little bit Another blizzard. So I got three blizzards and what's in the store? Where well, hey, hey, there's some good stuff here. I'd take all these cards Well, not not the level one sorcerer strike, but soul fire is good if you have tons of mana You can do damage every turn and then holy strike for some more healing and a decent bit of damage is good as well so I could very easily see myself spending 115 gold here. I'm not even sure there's that much gold to be found on the floor, but we're going to go for it. Okay, so here with a crappy mana card and a crappy attack too, I think I will go ahead and sift. All right, so what do I get rid of? i got to get rid of three of these cards. I guess the mana, the attack two, and the heal, because I don't need heal at the moment. And then what I can do is I can actually frost charge him and then frost bolt for double damage. And so now he's doing less damage to me. And well, <clears throat> and um, I did a decent chunk of damage to him. Okay, so there's there's the mana card, mana search card that I got from my talent for ten mana, which is nice because I could use that. And then now we're going to put up a ward and deal ten damage to him with a blizzard. So now I basically got stone skin up, which is good because pretty much all of his damage is physical. Now can I kill him? I can. Nice. All right, so I actually ended up surviving pretty well that fight. Pierce. Six piercing. You know, I'm going to take it. If I get a blacksmith or like one of those level ups where you upgrade your cards, it'd be nice to have the uh, pierce to upgrade along with some mana, for example. I'm forced to use a health pack and then level five or level five. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go with the one that seems more centrally oriented to improve my odds of being able to explore more. And I think I will just pop my bone shield. This is once every other fight, so might as well use it. Okay, my ward is almost up, but here comes another ward. You know what? This, I don't want to say it, but this is looking okay. I think this might be all right, as long as the boss is not the Ice Queen, because then she'll be immune to my blizzards, which I have like three of. I should be in decent shape. Okay, so we can get the Prayer of Wrath, go kind of a long-term thing, which might not be terrible. Um, even if, let's say I do fight a, a freeze immune monster, the... Freeze cards still resist or make me take less damage from the monster, and then I can go for like a long kind of support game where I put up a bunch of shields and heal and then get big prayers off. Seven health is good, but let's take this prayer. Let's let's give myself a little bit of a contingency. All right, nice. That obviously that was nothing for exploration, so we're going the other way now. And we got our ability here to draw a card. Pretty much I only use this when I'm fighting a boss, or basically when I know that I'm gonna level up after the fight. Otherwise I Maybe it's just not good enough at this game, but I'm not quite sure when I'm supposed to use it. Oh, hey, he, it died. Nice. And I had just enough starting mana to... Oh, my God, I totally forgot about using Soul Siphon. Oh, my God. I just I just completely... Like, oh, I'm the Necromancer. I killed things as fast as I can. Yeah, I don't know. I think on the second floor, I'm just giving up on it. I don't want to try to get Soul Siphons off just, just, you know, because then I might take more damage and just die. Which is part of why healing is so good with the Necromancer, if you get like really good healing cards like Bless, because then you can go for that kind of strategy of waiting for your Soul Siphons and just use shields and heals to hold them off indefinitely. There are a lot of stores here. Wow. Okay, so another Holy Strike. Um, Mind Seer is not bad for some card draw, but it's expensive. And then Flame Brand, what are you? Oh, get a temporary Fireball at the beginning of each turn. Huh? 
maybe. Um, some mana would be nice, and I do have a prayer now. And okay. Electrocute, I think, is what I'm gonna have to save up for. This is pretty much a top tier card because I do have tons of mana, and uh, that's it's a card that takes advantage of it. Okay, well, so we got a game plan here. What the hell am I doing? Uh, there's really nothing to explore over here, and these guys are immune to water, so it's gonna be a tough fight. That's level six. All right, that's also level six. My bone wall up. It is. Okay, I guess we'll fight one of these guys. And then I'm gonna use the bone wall because I know he's gonna damage me with the, all these extra cards that he has. All right, so I can discard. What are you? Deal two. Oh, draw a card. Oh, wow, that's a good card to get rid of. So get rid of that. Make you frozen and then deal double damage with Frostbolt like a pro. Big mana turn here. Okay, there's Soul Siphon. Gonna have to make a pretty big decision. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to hang on to this. Let's see, I've got two more blizzards in the pile. No, three more blizzards in the pile, but I have a big deck, so I'm not guaranteed to find me those blizzards. And I still need one more damage after, oh, all right, fine. I talked myself into it, we'll do it. I just need a blizzard and then, okay, that was a terrible decision. Oh my God, okay. Well, now I'm all in. Um, don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, stop playing cards. What are you doing? Oh my Lord, okay. Well, we got the soul siphon. So I got, I got that going for me, but I am at one hit point. Yeah, that's good. Let's eat up all these health packs before I get ambushed. Jesus, oh God, that, those haste totems, man, they're so deceptive. Because when they draw an extra card every turn, it gets crazy. What are you? Reduce monster health, but poison you each fight. Oh, God, oh, God, ugh, Oof, those guys are terrible. These are the ones with permanent resilience, so all my big spells do three damage, and they have tons of hit points. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this poison, and um, luckily I'm a necromancer, so I should be able to portal away. Oh, no, mm hmm, what's the cooldown on my portal? Is it after two more fights? God, I really hope so. I really, because if I, if, I, if I have to fight this guy, then I'm going to lose. So I guess we're going to fight this brownie. Okay. And there's a prayer. Um, hmm, what do I want for this? I guess 15 damage, maybe? It's got my ward up. And um, got tons of mana now. Oh, counter spell on the frost bolt. Ugh, terrible. Okay, well, I'm one off from being able to play this. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna pay five health, draw a card. Oh my God, and it went through the 50% dodge chance. So clearly I should have put this down for one turn less, but luckily I got through. And, oh wait, now I'm totally screwed. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, I can't buy the electrocute. Is there anything I can buy that gives me you know, the next time your opponent will take elemental damage, it's piercing. That, that could be good to let my blizzards damage this water elemental. Um, can't get a holy strike. Mana surge doesn't really do... Oh, wait, oh, hold on. This is a holy strike that's cheaper. I still can't buy it. Three gold short. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Elusive power. I can dodge a, dodge a card. Uh, troll hide. I can get two and health to start of my turn. That's terrible. All right, now we're just we're just going in here. I mean, it's it's over, right? It's got to be over. It's gotta be over. No, I have my bone shield, that's right. Boom, okay. So I've got 14 hit points, 11 hit points really. This thing's vulnerable to fire, so my fireball will deal 16 damage. It also has less health because of my altar. I guess I'm gonna start with a sift. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of these junky cards. Then we're gonna play our cycling cards. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Eh. Suffocate, definitely don't want that to happen to me. And then the blizzard, which doesn't do anything, but it does, you know, reduce incoming damage. Okay, well, this is a pretty simple turn. There's my fireball for 16 damage. I gotta discard one, uh-oh. Oh, jeez, I'm alive though. Hang on, this does 16, and this does six. Oh my God, that fire vulnerability helped me, and now I level up. Oh, we're still in it, yeah! All right, so now, I don't think I can take that, oh, I only have two blizzards. Okay, for some reason I had three. Uh, but I don't think I can take this third blizzard. 
Wait, did, did I like accidentally press discard instead of learn when I found a blizzard or something? Anyway, um, I don't think I can afford to take another blizzard because I actually do need some more mana. Let me just take four base mana here so I can pay my stuff. Now we're gonna put you in the corner because you're an asshole and then I'm going to get electrocute. So I got some big, big guns here. I'm at full health. All right, we're ready to go. Ready to conquer the world. Here we go, people. We're doing it. We're oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, oh God, no. Oh, geez. Oh, I wasted a health pack. That's, that's, that's rough. Okay, we're gonna go here and I get something for free. Let's get five more health. And I think I'm just gonna fight the boss now. I'm not gonna get 29 more experience. I'm not gonna get enough gold to buy anything. We're just gonna fight this thing, see if we can make it to floor number three. Okay, oh, I could've, mm, maybe I should've fought the wisp just to get my barrier back. Well, I could run away and do that now. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, change my mind. I did take two damage from my poison at the start of the fight, but uh, hopefully that was a smart choice. Okay, static charge, cycle. Blizzard blocks some damage. Nice. I'm not. I could save these for when it discharges, but I don't think it's worth it. I might as well just discard them. Okay. Took a lot of damage there. Let's see. Frost charge. Double damage. Mmm. It barely survives. Um. All right. I'm gonna put it for two. One would have killed it, but I don't know that I wanted to kill it. See here. I get my soul. So oh wait. Whoa. 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 First, I'm gonna heal. Right, and then I'm gonna see if anything good, nope, okay, and then I'm gonna soul siphon to get a, an extra base mana. All right, so I'm at 17 out of 45, got a treasure chest. Invisibility, yes, all right, and then let's get all the health packs we can find. Can I get an oasis maybe? No, can't get an oasis. Ah, I shouldn't have wasted this health pack over here. That would have been good to have another six health. All right, well, we're gonna do this, and now I will pop my bone shield. And this fight is sort of important to do it quickly because this, I mean, this stuff is just going to be a problem. Two damage every turn, he gets an extra card every turn, he gets extra mana every turn. So really, I got to ask myself, can I electrocute him in one go? I'm not going to get up to 68 mana. I mean, my best mana card gives me 10 mana. I could do life tap. <sighs> All right. I just wish I'd gotten this electrocute later. We're gonna drain, I'm just gonna drain life. Oh, I should have done it the other opposite order, whoops. Okay, we're gonna electrocute right now, and I'm just gonna hope I can finish him off. I got blizzards, I got a fireball, I'm just hoping me and the captain can make it happen, but I, got, I gotta be fast. I can't afford to sit around and wait. So, how many more turns do I have left before he just kills me? Two at the most, so I'm just gonna put it on for two. Soul Siphon's worthless, I got all my healing cards here. Oh, gotta discard one. I'm gonna discard Soul Siphon because it doesn't do anything anyways. Oh, Jesus, oh, okay, we're gonna discard the Flame Charge, I need my healing. Okay, so Ward and Heal, all right. Blizzard and Drain Life, good to see, please don't make me discard cards. Okay, I'm at 13 hit points, you're at 31 hit points, here's some more mana. Here's some more damage, I heal a little bit, Blizzard you. Okay, I gotta get another Blizzard, and I did. Okay, but I'm very close to dying. Oh, I'm dead. I should have freaking life tapped. Ah, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.